So one of the things I want to do, I've got a nice new sort of bottom trimming bit, nice sharp flush bit uh, to do the spoiler board. And one of the things I want to do, I want to make sure that the bit comes in at the same height within the router because I've got the uh, dust shoe positioned right. So I don't want this to be much higher or lower. So I've got a few little bits of scrap down there. I'm going to shim those out with a couple of mil and that I know is then the exact right height for this bit to be in that collar. I hope it fits actually. Don't think about that. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, so that's what we'll do first. Then once that's in, I can get it homed and then it's kind of moment of truth time. Okay, so here goes. Um, computer on. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, I've got cameras everywhere. I've got my cheap little GoPro like taped to the end of this because that's important, obviously, if we get pictures. I'll probably wobble around the other place, actually. Never mind. Um, I'm going to be prowling like a kind of expectant father, I think, when <laughs> this is happening. I think I've got enough batteries and all the cameras and the laptop to get this functioning. Things are going to get a little bit noisy for a bit because I'll have the router on, I'll have the desk correct connection on, and I'll have the motor going, the power supply going for this. So I don't think I'm going to be saying much for the next... <clears throat> how long it takes, actually? I don't know how long it takes. 20 minutes? 10? I don't know. But, as I say, <laughs> wish me luck. So that's on. I know that's recording. Uh, we're going to browse it up. Okie dokie, we are connected. So that's home X, Y, Z. So if we now go Z plus 25, twice, we get the dust shroud on, then we go Z minus 25, twice, if you come back to exactly that space, just about in. And I think if I double click on that, that will run. I think. I'm going to start one of the best three.
Good lord, that was noisy. However, for the most part, it seems to have done the job. Um, but it's shifted over by about five mil. I don't know why that is. I'll look at the drawings. Maybe I've measured it slightly off or something. But yeah, I mean, apart from the, the noise and weirdly dust collection down this left hand side isn't as good as the right. Maybe it's just the angle of the hose or something. But that has worked remarkably well. So I'm just going to let everybody have a breather, <laughs> including me, for a second. And then I'll go about changing bits and we'll get those uh, cross lines in. I'm going to switch you off for a sec. So it took a little while for the router to be cool enough to touch, and even then the collet was red hot. But I swapped the bit and collet out for the 1 8 inch and set the machine running to score the grid lines. So that worked reasonably well. Um, the lines are in the same place as the rest of the grid, which is uh, the rest of the um, pocket area. I've got to say, it's not a great finish from that small bit, um, possibly because we're going through the core of MVF rather than through a surface, but we'll see. Um, it'll clean up fine. These are just sort of reference lines for me. But overall, yeah, pretty successful. Uh, spoiler board surfacing. I think we can I can go away quite happy with that. Uh, yes, obviously a mistake not to use <laughs> dust collection from the very start with the eighth of a mil bit, yeah, eighth of an inch bit, three mil bit. But there we are. I wanted to actually be able to see the bit cutting because I wasn't sure about where it was going to start. But it all seems to be okay so far. I'm going to go and let this dust settle in here and then uh, we'll come back to this another day. Uh, maybe next time we'll be actually making something with our CNC router. <laughs> See you then.